Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know, a moment to stop in our busy lives and listen to God. First, let me read from the Bible. Acts chapter 11, verses 22 and 23. When the church leaders in Jerusalem heard about the rapid growth of the church in Antioch, they had lots of questions. Because the church in Jerusalem was strongly Jewish in character, there were some who were deeply suspicious of what was going on. Their concern was that the followers of Jesus should follow the Old Testament law. Others were excited to hear the news, but wanted to know exactly what was going on. So they sent a representative, and their choice was a crucial one. They needed to choose someone who was able to understand the non-Jewish background of most of the new converts in Antioch and who would give them plenty of encouragement. They made a very good choice when they selected Barnabas. Barnabas came from Cyprus. He had a much wider understanding of the world than the leaders in Jerusalem, who probably never set foot outside Judea. More importantly, he was a man who was famous for his gift of encouragement. When we first meet Barnabas in Acts chapter 4, Luke notes that his name means son of encouragement. That particular gift was crucial at this moment. If one of the other leaders from Jerusalem had visited Antioch and demanded that they should all follow the Jewish law, it could have been incredibly destructive. Thank God that they sent an encourager. When Barnabas got to Antioch, all he could do was rejoice. In his joy, he encouraged the church to keep it up and to stay true to the Lord. Making good appointments was crucial in the early church, and it still is today. If the church is to thrive, it needs people like Barnabas, whose love for the Lord is so strong that they bring encouragement wherever they go. It must have been incredibly tough for the early Christians to live for God in a society that was fundamentally opposed to everything they stood for and it still is today. We need to pray that God will raise up an army of wise and godly encouragers. Let me pray with you. Loving God, thank you for all those to whom you've given the special gift of encouragement. Amen. Thanks for listening. I hope you have a great day and that you'll join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier.